shopping. So today I'm going to be doing my Boxing Day sales haul for you guys. I do know that we are into January and that Boxing Day was in December and I'm a little bit late on the whole Boxing Day Christmas sale thing. But I kind of got, I didn't, okay, I kind of caved because I didn't want to buy anything in Boxing Day and then once I started I couldn't stop and I just had to go shopping and all my weekends were full of me spending my money and now I'm poor. So I thought I'd share my lovely purchases with you guys mainly so I can justify why I bought them and not show them off more like this is why I bought this this is why I paid this price because it's the kind of person I am also I just want to wish you guys a very happy new year I hope you had a lovely Christmas and a lovely new year and I'm just going to dive straight on into it so the first place that I'm just going to go for is HMV now I've got two DVDs from HMV the first one is the Muck Thief I have read the book I studied the Weimar Republic slash Germany in history for GCSE and I've read the book and I love the book and so I just kind of wanted to read the film, watch the film, and read the film, watch the film and see, you know, how it's been portrayed. Plus I do actually quite like Emily Watson, I think she is a really good um, actress. So yeah, the next DVD that I picked up was Christmas with the Cranks. Um, I've never seen this film and I do know that we're now into January and not Christmas, but seeing as I'm uploading my Boxing Day haul video in January, I'm going to justify the fact that I can read and watch this DVD in January because Christmas is all year round. Why not? So then I went to TK Maxx and I picked up one item from TK Maxx and I picked up this really nice blue um, shirt. It's a blue, white, and like black. I'm gonna say checked, but it's not really checked, and it's like a blouse, and it's really nice. Like I think it can go formal, or it can also go kind of non-formal, casual type, depending on what you wear it with. I think it'll look really nice with either a pair of jeans and my Doc, my Doc Martin boots, or it would also look really nice with a skirt and my Doc Martin shoes. But either way, I really liked it, and this was like 9.99. It doesn't have the RIP price on it, but yeah, $9.99. It's a bargain. Then I went to Urban Outfitters and I really do like Urban Outfitters and this bag has kind of made me love uh, Urban Outfitters a little more. So as you can see, the gingerbread man is being like dunked into his coffee and then when we twist on the background, it's being eaten. I love this bag and this is the reason why I probably bought a lot from Urban Outfitters because they have the cutest bag ever. So the first item which I picked up is just this blue dark tartan skirt with these zippers at the front. I really like this skirt. I have already worn it. I wore it out to go to a meal and I really enjoyed the dress. Not that the meal was good, but really enjoyed the skirt. Um, it just is really warm um, and it is a size medium and it does fit really well. Sometimes I find with Urban Outfitters that the stuff is either too big or too small for me, it's never the right size. But this did fit really well, although I do have to wear a pair of tights under it because it is a little bit short for me. Um, but I really liked it, the colours are really nice. Um, and so that was a good purchase. And this should have been £40 and it was down to £20, I believe. Then I picked up this, I'm going to put this bag down. Then I picked up this tartan, uh, this tartan, tartan? This checked shirt. Now I am one who loves checked shirts and this is a really nice oversized one. I think this will look really good over a pair of shorts when I go on holiday um, with like a vest top or something, kind of as like a kimono, but I also can tuck it in. Again, it took it into shorts, took it into my jeans, wear it over a shirt in the winter. It is so warm and so soft and really thick. Like, I love Urban Outfitters shirts because I feel like they do last and they are worth the money that they pay because I know you can get some and after a while they go like all acrylic, but I just think Urban Outfitters shirts are beautiful. Um, and this should have been £40 and it was down to £20. So, girl, I got me a tartan check shirt. Then the last item which I picked up from Urban Outfitters is this beautiful, beautiful bright jumper. Now this jumper just screams at me. I love it so much. Like when I saw it, I just knew I had to get it. I have gone from a stage of never wearing jumpers to just buying jumpers. Like all I buy is jumpers. Um, and I really like it. I think it's really bright, really colourful. And this should have been 
42 pounds and it was down to 25 and I just love it. I love your jumper. Then, after I went to Women Outfitters, I then went to Selfridges or aka Mac where most of my money was spent. Now, I don't have a Mac, a Mac, a Mac, a Mac store. We don't have, oh, I'm going to Australia, we don't have a Mac store. We don't have a Mac store in Manchester, we only have one in Liverpool. Um, and we do also have a Mac at um, House of Fraser. But I went to Selfridges because I know they had a 10% sale. Um, and I only went originally for my MAC Mineralize Foundation, but I ended up going when they had like their sale and just started. And they had like everything and I ended up spending a lot of money on the sale items. But so, sorry, as I was saying, I only originally went for the NC15 Foundation. I've used this for a while now, but I kind of wanted, well yeah, I wanted to try it. I want to carry on using it for now um, because I feel like it's a good foundation for me, it's perfect. Um, but I am going to be doing a video which I'm not going to play about where I will be giving you a starter pack for the makeup. Mm. But yeah, so I wanted to test this out. I'm not going to try carry on with it. Then, because I am um, someone that is addicted to shopping, um, I will tell you the, the price for this was £28 originally and I got it for. <laughs> 25 pounds 20 so I saved, it tells me how much I saved, I saved 6 pounds 15 because it was 10% off. That is a good sale. Then I picked up a little MAC blusher because I feel like I want to try and start to use more blushes and just kind of want to create more of a blusher kind of collection because I only really use one like the main blusher which was possibly a good one. So I'm trying to build up my collection of blushes. So I picked up this one and this is MAC, MAC Desert Rose and I really like it. It is like a warm matte colour. Um, it's like a plummy, pinky kind of colour and it sits really nice on my cheeks. Because I'm quite fair skinned, I do find it easier to wear a dark, darker powder than a lighter powder just because of my face and also because I wear glasses as ridiculous as it sounds I can't do a lot of dark eyes because it makes my glasses go all grim so I like to use my blusher to kind of and my lips to kind of just create a little setting on my face and this is perfect this should have been £18 and I got it for uh, £16.20 and I saved £1.80 which is really good then I picked up a, oh, a, a lipstick because whenever I go to MAC I always buy a lipstick. Um, again I'm trying to collect like lipsticks, I have a million lipsticks. I've gone from normal lipsticks to a million. Um, and this time I picked, went for a snob, I went for a snob. It's a very light pink. Now when I googled it um, for like reviews and just to kind of see what other people thought of it, they said it was very barley pink but I don't actually think once they swatch it personally on my skin that it looks too bad pink. I think it's a perfect colour for just when you're trying to wear like a natural makeup and you don't want to go too bright on your lips or anything. Um, I do like to wear it for college. I love it so much. This should have been £13.50 £15, sorry, and I got it for £13.95 so I saved £1.55. Yeah buddy. Then I picked up an eyeshadow. Again I'm trying to get into a lot of eyeshadows. Um, I tend to just use the natural collection eyeshadows and I want to build up more of a collection. So now I picked up this one which is a satin, uh, I think it's, oh no, a velvet pearl eyeshadow and it is a Nicola Expensive Pink. It's really nice, it's a copper pinky colour. It, I really wanted to get the antique one but they didn't have that so the woman suggested that I went for expensive pink as it was the second nearest to it so I, yeah, I that. You know. So that is everything that I got from Mac and that was when my bank account was like Alice, please stop spending me but you know I'm the type of person that wants I shop, I can't stop. So after that I went to New York. Now this wasn't in the sale, but I had got given a voucher off my cousin, cousin and her family for Christmas. Um, so I didn't mind spending the money on it because our half day was using a voucher. Um, and I just picked up these really pretty tartan purple trousers. Um, 
they fit really nice on these. Oh, I just want to just fell out of it. Oh, 20% off everything. Oh, I got an offer. Sorry. Just fell out of the leg. Oh, I. So yeah, I picked up these trousers. They're really nice. I think they're going to be a statement in my wardrobe. I think I'm just going to wear these all the time. They, they feel so comfy. And they were should have been $19.99, but my cousin and her family gave me a uh, £10 gift card. So I only really paid £10 for these. So if you're watching, thank you so much for the gift card. These are the beautiful trousers which I bought with them, and I love them. And I'm just going to be wearing them all the time. Then the last place that I went to was the good old H&M. Now again, woo, I'm throwing them at you. Now again, this wasn't in the sale, but I'm just going to show you anyway because I thought it was good there. And the first thing which I picked up was this jumper. And this jumper to me reminds me kind of like a Christmas jumper, but a Christmas jumper that can be worn. 24 7 it's like a social socially accepted jumper i have already worn this and it's really nice it did look a little bit itchy when i first saw it and i'm not someone that does an itchy jumper and it also has these really cute like elbow patches on the sides and i just really liked it i did get it in a kind of like an oversized just so that it bags because i do like baggy jumpers and i have gone from no jumpers to loads of jumpers because jumpers are cool and i love it so much and this was $19.99, I believe. And then also to go with the job, I picked up a pair of grey jeggings. Now, I have loads of jeans. I have loads of blue jeans, but I don't have any grey jeans. And I wanted to get some from Primark, but I thought I would try out H&M's jeggings because I have a pair of H&M jeans that I just can't seem to get the sizing right. So I thought these jeggings of the mean super skinny would be more helpful. So I picked up these bad boys. Um, and I think the jumper was twenty yeah, was $19.99 and the jeans were $12.99. Uh, they weren't in a sale, but you know, I like them anyway. And then just because, you know, I like to show everything, I also picked up a pair of seven pairs of socks. And these were white trainer ones because I like to wear these under with my Doc Martens when I'm wearing them with trousers and stuff. Just to kind of like with my rolled up jeans and stuff just to kind of add a little bit of a look. And that is everything that I bought in the Christmas sales. I am now skin, I have no money and I'm probably going to be living off lettuce for the rest of my life. But you know, I've got some beautiful clothes so who really cares. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys soon. If you have any video suggestions. Do not be afraid to tell me down below or like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and like, follow me on Instagram. All the links are down in the description below. And if you guys want to leave me a cute message, then please do not be afraid. For I have redeemed you. Wow. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for a wonderful 2014. Happy New Year. And I will see you guys next week. See you later.